guys, it's Jason Layden here with MCV News, your Hollywood online news service. I'm here at the world famous Sunset Gower Studios here in California, and I'm at the New Filmmaker LA. It's a festival that is geared towards young, up and coming producers, directors, actors, you name it, to give them that chance to showcase their talent and hopefully network with some bigwigs. So um, let's go talk to some people. Hey guys, it's Jason Layden with MCV News. I'm sit standing here with Joy Skinner. Yeah. And, I'm, and Farley, Farley Jackson, Farley Jackson. <laughs> they are the producers, the executive producers, the, the actor, actor, too. actor, actor. Director, writer. of the uh, short film Brotherly Love. Yeah. Does that have anything to do with Philadelphia? No. no. I just <laughs> had to say that. I just had to say that. You know, I'm from Philly. I have to represent. Oh, see, yeah, they got right? a lot of Philly. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> tell me a little bit about the film. Ooh, um, Brotherly Love is about uh, three brothers that is faced with a horrible dilemma due to uh, an act that's um, portrayed by one of the brothers okay. because he was bullied and pressured by a local gang to commit this horrible right. act. Okay. So then they have to deal with it. You know so what I mean? It's a story about bullying? It's a story about well, bullying. That's kind of yes. cool because yeah. wasn't the last month that National yeah. Bully National. Bullying Month? Yeah, National Bullying Month and it's relevant. I'm talking with Chris Gallucci. He is the director, producer, director and producer, pr director, producer of The Elephant Man Journeys. So, let's get to the film. This is kind of a heart touching film. Tell me how this film came about. The film came about realistically about from this pendant. This pendant and these rings. It's about returning my elephant spirit to where they took their first breath. I had the luck of spending 29 years with two unbelievable African elephants. I literally lived my life with these elephants. When they died, I figured the best thing I could do, the most honorable thing I could do, is take a piece of them back to where they came from. I'm talking with Erica Yanaka. She's the director of Pretty People. So tell me a little bit about the film. Well, the film is about uh, actors with a disability in Hollywood. So I interviewed uh, mainly five actors and uh, working in the industry and uh, uh, try to explore the issues that they are facing. I'm talking with June Stinson. She is the writer, director of um, the producer. producer, the everything of the 90th minute. So just tell me a little bit about the film. Sure. Uh, the 90th Minute is a documentary short about the highs and lows of what it's like to be a professional women's soccer player today. Uh, it focuses on three young professional female soccer players. I'm talking with Max Carp. He's the director of Wonderland, a short film, and he has a whole crew with him of actors. Um, tell me a little bit about the film. It's a short film about a fan's infatuation with the wholesome pop star. He stay, uh, stalks her and uh, follows her around, brings her to her house, and uh, what happens there is the subject of the short film. Let's uh, talk to some of the cast. What's your name, bud? Carlos. And Ariano. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. <laughs> and what is your, what's your part? Uh, I play basically like a heavy. I think this is the pop star. What's your name? Rosalie McIntyre. I could see Britney Spears. Can you? Maybe. <laughs> no comment. What's your name and what was your part? My name's Chris Gowan. Uh, I play Todd. I'm basically her stalker. It's, uh, it's a creepy dude that you wouldn't want to hire as a babysitter. I'll you know what, guys? I wish you guys all the luck. I'm talking to Noah Weisberg. He is the director, yeah, director of right. What's Life Got to Do With It. Should I start singing? Uh, you can, though there might be copyright infringement, and there's no attorneys here, so I don't want to get anybody in trouble. Uh, it's, it's sort of based on the reality of the, of the economy that we're in and what happens when you need a roommate and the only person that shows up is a zombie because that's very common in this that, And that's life. I'm here talking with Kate Van Devender. She is the director of a short film, Will and Fiona. Tell me a little bit about what the film is about. Sure. Uh, the film is about a guy named Will okay. who asks out a coworker for a friendly drink and when he gets there he finds out that she thinks that she's on a date. Who to a is Will? So this is Will. Will. Okay. You're the right. lucky guy. I am. Nice. What was it like working on the film? Oh, it was great. It was, uh, it was a fun set. We shot it we shot it quickly and, you know, it's just nice to, to get it going. So. And he also wrote it. Oh. Oh, you wrote the film? I did write the film, yeah. You should have said that in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it just started off just like this idea of a, a restaurant where people go to have affairs. Tell me um, what your name 
is and your involvement? Uh, my name is Adrienne Richards, and I'm Fiona. I'm the woman on the date that thinks it's a date. What's your name? I'm Darren Tuner. And, and are you I'm the, the one third? Who everybody drunk before they have. Oh, you're the bartender. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You know, bartenders are. Yeah, so, you can't trust them. No, 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 no. <laughs> They're troublemakers. Um, anyway, listen. Congratulations on the screening. I have a great night. Um, this is going to be big. Thank you. We're thrilled to be here. Congratulations for having your film selected uh, to screen here at the New Filmmakers Festival. It's really been a good experience, and they've been really nice to me. So this is really a good thing. Well, that's all. That's always great to hear. What was your experience working with new filmmakers? How was that? It's great. Um, they, I got the call that my film is getting screened, so I, I was so excited. Uh, working with new filmmakers has been great so far. They've been super exciting to work with. I'm ecstatic to have my film being screened here. Tell me a little bit about your involvement with the new filmmakers and how it was. Yeah, um, it's really been awesome. What was it like working with new filmmakers? Uh, you know what, man? This has been one of the best experiences ever because I love that they love filmmakers and I love that they give people an opportunity. All right, guys, it's been a great evening here at the New Filmmakers LA. I talked to some amazing people. I saw some great films and I was educated with some, you know, really educational documentaries. So, you know, I'll see you guys next month.